What's up guys, today we got a pretty cool video. Once again, Dan Steyer, RBRT man, is back in the house and he's got a cool new product to show us. So you guys, come take a look because this one is pretty cool. guys like i said in the intro you've seen dan steyer a few times on our channel he is the rbrt man for mac and nonetheless he's got a cool set so i'll let dan introduce himself and we'll take a look at this cool awesome product thanks clay how we doing guys dan the rbrt guy here today we're showcasing our 52 piece set of torx this is our torx master set and the really cool thing about this Torx set is it's the only Torx set that I know of that goes from T6 to T100 in the short chrome. You also get a set T8 to T60 in the really great one piece machine stubby set. T8 to T60 in the long set, right? And then you get a set of FOR extractors with it, our wonderful extractor with the foreign object removal collar that just is super versatile. It's a strengthener. It, it strengthens and reinforces it when you screw it down to the mating surface to take it out. It can be used as a puller to pull it up out of the, out of the drilled hole if you need to heat the bolt or if it's not going your way and it looks like you're going to have to drill it and tap it and it ain't coming out. And then of course, it'll obviously push the broken material off the end of the extractor after you've extracted the broken material, saving you a lot of time and energy exactly. and headache trying to get these two pieces separated. So it's a great extractor. And you ruin your extractor either by having to put it in a vise and bang it. Well, you know, that's a off. fact because a lot of times the damage to the extractor happens trying to weasel those two pieces mm -hmm. apart. And I'll tell you what, because it pushes that off of there nice and clean and straight off of the grooves that the extractor makes in the metal, doesn't damage the head at all. They can be reused over and over and over again. So they best extractor on the planet, guys, let me tell you what. Um, you know, the truth about extractors, Clay, is that 30% of the time they work, yeah. the rest of the time you're drilling and tapping, that's life. I mean, that bolt didn't break for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, especially when you're using the smaller ones, guys, like the number one to number three, right. drill your hole, put it in, give it a little test. Don't over torque it. What happens if you break this oh, in the- Oh, it's a nightmare to drill out. It's, it's a whole nother hole. issue, yeah. right? So what you want to make sure with our extractors, here's the deal. Because they're a straight cut, not a tapered cut, you get 100% engagement of the fastener, okay? They grip better than any other extractor on the planet. So they don't slip and chew like a tapered extractor. It seems like it's stronger, but what in actuality, it'll strip it and chew it, and it, yeah, you don't put yeah. that much torque on it. With mine, it locks in. You're going to break it before it slips out of there. So, you know, you, you drill it in, bang it down in there, twist the collar down so it gets to the surface, give it a little snug so it reinforces the mm -hmm. head. And that also keeps you from breaking it because it's more surface area on the top. Correct. Because it's not as much, when you when you tighten that down on there, that kind of alleviates some of the wiggle. And you're gonna wiggle it, it you does. know, whether you want to admit it or not when you're trying to extract something. Sure. You're, so, you're gonna wiggle yeah, it. Yeah, I mean that sleeve, it performs some really great functions, so super versatile. But you know, the last thing you want to do is break these off in there. So here's the cool thing. If you're going to extract and you're doing the little dance back and forth trying to get it out, it's not coming, then you just use the collar to go ahead and tighten it down and it'll pop it up out of the hole and then you got a nice pilot hole to drill it and tap it. But you know, it's all about, it's all about the bite. Mm -hmm. The better the bite, the better your chances of getting it out. FOR extractor's best bite on the planet. But so this is our most comprehensive set of uh, torques. Uh, four full sets of tools really when you look at it. And uh, one of the other neat things about our blow molded cases, and this goes for every RBRT in the blow molded cases, is that that foam tray lifts up out of this plastic container and you can put that in the toolbox mm -hmm. and then, you know, use that for something else, but it saves you a little bit of room. So it's pretty well thought yeah. out. That's actually the way I did. We saved all of our plastic cases, but we took the foam out and, mm -hmm. and was mm -hmm. able to get like almost three times as much in right. the toolbox drawer. And it looks really good. I mean, for you guys, it's not familiar with this 
It's kind of got like a um, uh, carbon fiber wrap type covering on it and a red foam underneath. And I really like that because it makes it easy to see when you got a tool that you don't know where it's at, you can see the red foam underneath. Right. They did a really good job when they come up with these sets. They look really clean in your box and obviously they work very well. They work very well. <laughs> RBRT, that's, it's, that's uh, the, you know, it's setting the world on fire. Stuff's the best on the market, you know? Gives you your best fighting chance to get it out. Use it first so you don't strip it. But if you come across one that's compromised or stripped, you make sure you bottom it into the fastener and, 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 and this will give you your best fighting chance of getting it out before having to reach for that extractor and drilling a hole and banging these in. But it's well thought out. It's well priced as far as, you know, pricing goes because you get a whole lot right. for your money. Well, um, I want to cover the part number yep. for some of the guys. It's going to be SMXVE51RBRT. So that's the part number on the set. But every time you come, we always have some new and exciting news and products. Right. And uh, this is one of the best things, guys. Um, I'm going to kind of let the cat out of the bag. I'm going to be the first one to just say it publicly. Dan has got his own YouTube channel now. And uh, tell everybody the name of your YouTube channel, and we'll also pin one of your comments at the top, Fantastic. and that way they can just click it, go check his channel out, click the subscribe button, because now all of the new stuff is going to be featured on Dan's channel first. Right. Um, he's got a lot of really good content. Um, we've talked about it. It's going to be a lot of tips and tricks on how to make these tools work better for you. Obviously, tools work great, but the more educated you are when using a tool, makes them perform even better. And... Like, how can you get more educated than the guy that does it for a living? Like, you know, when you design a tool, don't, don't make me sound tool, smarter than I am, man. Come on, you know. Like, honestly, who can who can say anything more about RBRT than Dan? Um, but seriously, check his channel out. It's gonna be a lot of really cool stuff. Um, me and Dan's talked off camera. He's gonna be very active in the comment section, answering questions. Um, looking for when the tool wins, looking for when the tool fails, mm -hmm. and most importantly, educating you on how to use some of their new and upcoming products. Because mm -hmm. obviously, if, you know, when you look at their tools, they're completely different. Torx looks like a Torx, but your hex looks like a Torx, <laughs> you know? A lot of people do and, um, misunderstand that, absolutely. I'll put a picture here, and that way you can, can kind of see, but you know, when you're the first in the industry to come out with a new product that's totally different, you know, a lot of times education is, is as important as, as the tool getting right. on the market. Absolutely. And with some of the stuff that they've got looking forward, like you guys aren't stopping. Oh, like our torque. foot's our foot's on the gas, bro. Like, we got a lot of these stuff guys out. is running a hundred mile an hour, and they're mm -hmm. gonna have a lot of really exciting new products. And I'm looking forward to seeing them grow, yep. and I'm looking forward to seeing you get your play button. Thanks. I think that'd be awesome to see it on your Thanks. wall. Yep. So you guys subscribe to his channel, help him get to that mark yep. even quicker than me. Right. But, so the name of the channel is gonna be the RBRT guy. We're just getting started, so you know we're gonna be. Trying to, my goal is to release one video a week. Um, I'm going to try to keep the content fresh. I'm going to use real world situations. I'm going to go out to the junkyard and I'm going to find stuff and bring it back to the shop and video me taking it apart and showing you how RBRT is the tool you want to get the job done. Uh, that's probably pretty much it in the nut bag. Well, is it as fresh as sushi fresh or is well, it like know, Captain D's fresh? It, you know, it, it depends on the day, right? <laughs> Let's be honest, man. It'll pass the sniff test. There we go. I promise. That'll work. Okay. But seriously, RBRT man, Dan will leave a comment. He'll be, I'll pin it at the top, and that way you guys can one click to his channel. Um, go subscribe, check it out, and be looking for a lot of really cool content. Even when the guy is 100% serious, he's still comical, he's fun to be around. So it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a good channel. But It's all about the company you keep, brother. That's it. <laughs> all right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free. You never know where we're going to be, what we're going to show, or what cool people we're going to hang out with that day. So click that button, click his button, and let's get it done. Let's click some buttons. Click all the buttons. Yeah. Just thumbs up. <laughs> Click them all. You guys have a great week, and we will catch you next time. Thanks. See ya.